And now the Lakers starting group. And they have their big three all out there. Westbrook at the point with LeBron and Davis at the forward. And there's Bryant, and it's Walker in at the two. And for the Suns, Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Bridges in at the small four. Here we go. And tonight, Greg, two teams with a lot of history that know each other very, very well. And sometimes familiarity breeds contempt. And, and that goes for the players, coaches, and fans. Now here's Booker. And it's good. Two points. Devin Booker showing off the weight room work. Able to use that added strength to finish through contact. LeBron with it. Now guarded by Aiken. And the basket is good. And how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Aiton a screen on Walker. Walker the pass to Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. Well, just tremendous court recognition. DeAndre Ayton excelling in the pick and roll there. LeBron kicks to Bryant. Bob pass to Bryant, and Bryant slams it in. Well, Thomas Bryant has the kind of length to get well above the rim. Nicely done. Great target on an alley-oop. Here's Booker. The shot. No good. Walker with some nice D. And Westbrook, here we go. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? Going inside, right on the bucket. Boy, just tremendous focus from Devin Booker. On the interior, it matters not if he's facing size. Look out. Davis setting the pick for James. Off target from outside. Suns have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Booker outside. Lets it go with a three. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. Westbrook wide open. He fires. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Booker dishes to Ayton. Back to Booker. Aiton a screen on Walker. Here's Booker. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. A quality decision making off that pick and roll. Booker just taking what the defense gives him. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. And again, no good by the Lakers. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Rodder finds Paul. Eight and a screen on Westbrook. Paul with the ball. Picked up by Davis. Yep, that one goes in there. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And with Aiton, one area of his game that's always been elite, Doris, his work and rebound. Yeah, there's no question. As good as advertised, he is a double-double machine. And think about it, he is not even at his prime yet. They grabbed their own miss. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Last to book. Eight and a screen on James. Booker against James. Fires from deep. LeBron with the block. Well, just impressive defense by LeBron James. Such a good feel on that end of the floor. Track that shot all the way. Now here's Bryant over Booker. And Bryant the bucket on the assist by James. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that simply stated a terrific play. The drive by James, fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. The strength of LeBron is something that is never going to go away, and it will always allow him to finish plays like that. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Suns. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. And what passing we've seen from this group already, too. They could put up a big number in the assist column by the end of this one. Oh, 
free throw, no good for LeBron. It is really so impressive how LeBron James continues to play at a high level. We all respect greatness. What is the hardest thing to achieve is sustained greatness, and that's LeBron James. And they'll get another chance. No good. That puts him at two for six. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Eight in a screen on Westbrook. Oh, Aiton in position. An emphatic LU jam. What a connection DeAndre Aiton has with his guys. Great timing on the alley -oop. Davis, the pass to Bryant. Los Angeles with another miss. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Phoenix Suns. They lead by seven. James looking around. Passes to Bryant. LeBron outside. Six on the shot clock. Walker's shot is off. And here's Phoenix. They're on a 13-4 run right now. And the wide-open shot from Crowder goes back up. He lays it in. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Now here's James. And the pass to Bryant. There's Walker with the three. Cans it from downtown. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got 13. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And there's a whistle. That goes on Mikael Bridges. That's his first foul. And Phoenix making a change here. Payne's checked in. And then for Los Angeles. Johnson, he's checked in for Thomas Bryant. The Wizard comes in for LeBron. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Lonnie Walker. Here's Reeves. Off target with his three. Suns lean by eight. In the corner, Crowder with it. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. The Lakers have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. And it's Westbrook missing. Phoenix is gone, just 1 of 4 from three-point range here in the first. Pass to Aiton. And Davis sends it back. The incredible length of Davis uses it to perfection to come up with the block. Ball against Westbrook, pass to none. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. Johnson, he's checked in for Jay Crowder. Lakers trail by five. Now, none. And he drives in. Count that one. None's got five. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. The three bridges. Westbrook pulls it in. Here's the Lakers with the ball. Outside, Davis passes it to Nunn. In the corner, it's Westbrook. Defensive positioning so important, and he could not have played him better there. Payne finds Paul. Aiton against Davis. Bridges. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Well, good defense, losing to better offense in that instance. You love how calm Mikel Bridges is in the face of that great contest. Westbrook and taken away by Paul. Now here's Payne. He's guarded closer. He dishes it to Aiton. Aiton sets the pick for Paul. Fires for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. They've been 
sensational on the backboard to start this game. And he gets the bucket. Russell Westbrook has the frame and the confidence to take on any contact that wants to come his way. That is a tough finish. Now here's Paul. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. That one good for two. Oh, he loves this. Just blows past defenders, takes it strong to the rack. Westbrook passes to Reeves. The pass to none. Driving the lane, just five on the clock. From downtown, and the Lakers get it back. Here's Davis, and they pick up two. In offensive rebounding, really all about hustle. And with Davis, that's hardly ever in question. Now here's Paul. Uses the glass to finish the way. And the Suns lead by five. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to a spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. So for the Suns, Biombo is checked in for eight. Torrey Craig comes in for Mikael Bridges. And it's Devin Booker in for Chris Paul. LeBron's checked in for the Lakers. Here's LeBron. Here's Reeves. Good, and the assist goes to James. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. None against Booker. Johnson with a screen on none, and here's Booker from the arc. A rebound by the Lakers. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pass to Johnson. Shades over Payne. Again, Los Angeles. You know, if you want any chance of contesting that shot, you have got to put a bigger defender on it. Now here's Payne, covered by LeBron. Booker looking around. Shot clock at six. But Trey... And James pulls it down. Lakers shooting it officially from the get-go. They're at 52% from the field. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And, Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings, the most all-time. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that. And Phoenix has possession after the basket by the Lakers. Payne and the layup fall. Payne's got it all tied up now for the Suns. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. None can't get it to fall. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Payne kicks to Johnson. Misses the three. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's the three fly. Craig pulls it in. Ball stolen. Out of bounds. Phoenix takes possession. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Five seconds left here in the first quarter. And here's Booker from the arc. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter! Big time shot.
to beat the buzzer there. My goodness. Well, that's the perfect end of the quarter for them. You have no idea how much of an effect those buzzer beaters can have on a team's momentum. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for the Phoenix Suns. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. We've got more in store for you right after this. And to begin his career, Devin Booker labored through half a decade of losing in Phoenix. And he opened up about what it means now to be on the other side. That's what I've been waiting on. I'm a basketball night in and night out. Keeping my head down, um, staying locked in and seeing tunnel vision, trying to play the right way through it all. Um, you know, I want to keep winning basketball games. And, you know, we have the culture and the foundation around here to make it happen. They really do. Great to see his patience rewarded. And so often, young players on losing teams can go astray. Credit Booker for staying solid through the adversity. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And taking a look at the Suns' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, you come in thinking they're going to settle for perimeter jump shots. Think again. Well, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. Backcourt pair, pain at the point, with Booker beside him. Bismack Biambo is out there with Johnson, and it's Craig in at the small forward position. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Sun. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the three-point shot of Mikel Bridges seemed to abandon him early in his NBA career. Coach Monty Williams said he developed a hitch in his release. Bridges got in the lab with the coaching staff, changing his shot midway through season two. And the results speak for themselves. Guys? He had a career year shooting, that's for sure. I admire his work ethic. DA, thank you. And James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Johnson against Johnson and taken away by Johnson and yeah, that's sort of a picture of what not to do on those last two possessions they're being way too loose with the ball and we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action here's Payne the epic counts and the Suns lead by three well I don't think he'll get a screen assist for that pick but they get the points and that's all that matters and a wide open look for James. No good on the three. The game has been very close in a lot of areas. The rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. What a savvy pass by Devin Booker, making the smart choice, moving the basketball. Here's LeBron following the score by Phoenix. Here's Johnson, and that one's drained from the low block. Phoenix leading by three. Booker outside. Over none. Again, Phoenix. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Pass to Horton Tucker. Johnson against Johnson. Poke loose. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul. And the Lakers making a change here. Toscano's checked in. And so it's the Lakers with it, trailing by five. And here's James outside. They get it back. Absolutely love the energy that Thomas Bryant brings nightly. He earns his rebounds. Booker dishes to Biombo. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Payne passes to Biombo. And here's Booker from the arm. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got five rebounds tonight. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. And it's been a tough game for him offensively. 
What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Suns leading by three. Payne up and around. There's three pointers off the mark. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Only given up six here in this quarter. Passes it to Toscano. Johnson against Bryant. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. There might be more talent at the point guard position now, Greg, than there's ever been in the NBA. But who do you think sits at the top of that list? I mean, Kevin, there's so many incredible talents. And not that I'm dodging it, but honestly, it, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It depends on what kind of tickles your fancy in terms of the point guard. If it's the ability to shoot and play without it, Steph's at the top of your lead list. But then you get a guy like Chris Paul, who I think is as good as anybody's ever been in the pick and roll. So they're, they're just different ways to approach this thing. And, of course, now I've forgotten four or five guys that I should have added into this conversation. Phoenix making some changes. Andre Ayton's checked in for Biombo. Bridges comes in for Torrey Gray. And Paul's subbed in for Booker. And the Lakers also making a switch. Westbrook's checked in. The pass to Ayton. Over Bryant. And Aiton the bucket on the assist by Bridges. That's now eight points for DeAndre Aiton. Boy, there's nothing the defense can do about that. DeAndre Aiton locked in and focused. Just goes right against quality defense. And taken away by Johnson. Bridges kicks to Paul. To the middle. Here's Johnson, drops in the layup for two. And it's a five-point Phoenix lead. Los Angeles has got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. Oh, a four. Westbrook passes it to Toscano. Pass to Westbrook. Three-pointer on the way. He doesn't hit that one. And Phoenix will come the other way. And the way Russell Westbrook racks up triple doubles is just incredible. Does it so often. A testament, Doris, to his strong work ethic. I mean, this guy plays with such competitive spirit on both ends of the floor. Russell is relentless. He will sacrifice his body, and his teammates appreciate the effort he gives every single night. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Here's Payne. Johnson outside. Pass to Paul. Aiton with it. Defended by Bryant. Payne gets a wide open look. Drains it from beyond the arc. Payne's got seven points. Well, DeAndre Aiton is a team first guy. And boy, does he set up the open man. Bryant is doubled. And there's the call on DeAndre Aiton. That's his first foul. And the Lakers with some changes. Davis has checked in for Thomas Bryant. LeBron comes in for Horton Tucker. And it's Lonnie Walker in for Kendrick Nunn. Yeah, 
Westbrook against Paul. From 18 feet away, Tampa goes in, and the Suns' lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Russell Westbrook. Well, because there's such good elevation and a confidence and comfortability in the mid-range, Russell Westbrook always takes advantage in that area. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got four rebounds in this game. Aiton a screen on Westbrook. Paul passes to Aiton. It's good. Aiton's got four this quarter. Well, you want to see DeAndre Aiton seek out the contact on the interior. Boy, he's a big-time talent. There's the lob to the hoop. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Payne dishes to Johnson. Paul kicks to Bridges. Now here's Payne. He's guarded closely. Takes it inside. And it's good for two. He's got nine. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Westbrook passes to James. And there's a whistle. That goes on Mikael Bridges. That's foul number two for him. To a certain extent, you like the aggressiveness, but that's two fouls already. Take a step back. And the Suns making a change here. Crowder's checked in. And the Lakers have possession. Eight-point game. 13 feet away. Off the left rim and out. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Suns. Not loose. Westbrook with the steal. LeBron passes to Westbrook. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Passes it to Toscano. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got his fourth assist in this one. Suns lean by six. Aiton a screen on Westbrook. Paul passes to Aiton, and he finishes nicely on the way. Aiton's got six here in this quarter. Boy, is it fun to watch Chris Paul dissect the defense. This guy is such a shrewd passer. On deep, James gets the three-pointer to fall. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give him. Bridges passes to Aiton. Paul kicks to Johnson, and there's the pass to Bridges. Six to shoot. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Feeds it to James, and he banks in the layup. Now it's just a three-point Suns lead. Now this is where you'd like the play to end up, right? LeBron James in rhythm off the catch. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his first foul. Booker, he's dragged in for the Suns. Here's Paul. Pass to Bridges. Booker outside. And Lonnie Walker picks up the foul. That's his first foul. The Lakers on D. They trail by three. Here's Paul. Aiton trying to break free. And Chris Paul the bucket on the assist from Crowder. Paul's got six points. Uh, Chris Paul not only has a great handle, but man, his footwork is so good. And stolen by Booker. To the inside. Here's Hayton. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Toscano passes to Davis. A stupendous finish in trap. Davis has got his second basket of the game. And this is all you can do if you're the B. Davis is an elite talent who converts those tough shots. Aiton sets the pick for Booker. That one goes. Count it. And the Suns lead by seven. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Here's LeBron. It's good. LeBron's got seven points for the quarter. There are.
aren't a lot of ways to slow up LeBron James in the pick and roll. Even if you defend it perfectly, he can find a way to score. Now, here's Aiton. He's got 14. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. No good with the triple. Lakers trail by five. Westbrook dishes to Davis. LeBron kicks to Westbrook. On the three off target. Phoenix has gone one of six from three point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%. But they've continued to let him fly. Well, you can see, guys, how much confidence DeAndre Ayton plays the game with. This is especially so on the offensive end. And here is Los Angeles now, following the score by Phoenix. Sinks the triple. LeBron's got 14 points for the game. Well, after hitting zero from distance in the first, that's his second make this quarter. Down low, it's intercepted. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Phoenix leading by four. And here's Booker. For three. No good on the shot. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Suns lead by four. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys shot a great percentage in the first half, but still a tight game. What do you think's causing that? I think right now we're playing at that tempo. You know, we need to pick up the pace. Uh, defend, rebound, run, and, and pick up the pace a little bit. And defense starts that pace. Thanks, Chris. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Four-point game. So for the Lakers right now. And they have their big three all out there. Westbrook at the point with LeBron and Davis at the forward. Then it's Thomas Bryant. And it's Walker in at the two-guard spot. And here is Paul following Russell Westbrook's three. Paul with the ball. The kick out to Crowder. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Crowder's got himself on the board with three there. We know this. Jay Crowder is an effective shooter. Someone who can shoot the three well. You've got to get into his space. Walker is screen on Paul. Westbrook passes to Walker. Tries it from the top of the key. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. is his first free throw of the game. And he makes the first.
And so he makes both from the line. The Suns leading. Booker outside. It's stolen by Davis. Inside. And Westbrook throws it down. Well, that sends a clear message to the defense. Russell Westbrook up high in a strong finish. It's stolen by Bryant. To the paint and stolen by Booker. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Here's Hayton. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. DeAndre Ayton, the first pick of the 2018 draft. He was obviously the consensus number one at the time. So hard to pass on a center like him who's got size, athleticism, and an elite vertical threat at the cup. That free throw, no good. And that was a loaded 2018 draft class. Not just Ayton, but Doncic and Trey Young as well. Yeah, there were some question marks early in his career about whether that was the right selection. But boy, Aiton has been a tremendous fit for them. This guy's upside is still so hot. Out in front now, although he left one point on the board right there. LeBron against Bridges. Back to James for the lead. Phoenix grabs the miss. Aiton's got six rebounds in the game. Paul looking over the floor. Crowder is screen on Westbrook. Paul, and it's sent back by Bryant. Boy, you'd love to see more of this from Thomas Bryant. He has the length necessary to send shots back. The Sun shooting percentage, 59%. The offense is running smoothly. Here's Booker into the lane. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. From the moment he entered the league, Devin Booker has been an offensive force. This is one of the rare players in league history to put a 70-piece on the board. Now here's Bryant. Eight points for him. Davis drives in and stolen by Eaton. Edges with it. He's picked up by LeBron. And Crowder with the basket on the assist for Bridges. And it's a six-point Phoenix lead. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. He's done a dynamite job rebounding the basketball. And no issues fighting it out against the big guys down low. Inside Crowder. Westbrook against Paul. In the corner, it's Bridges. Offline with his three. Out to the wing. Westbrook kicks to Davis. The 11-footer, and he hits the jump shot. 16 points for LeBron. Well, LeBron James still writing the legacy. The jumper is pure. Count it good. And the Suns lead by six. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And here's LeBron outside. The Lakers get it back in a new 14 and finished off by Davis. And all Davis needs is the right positioning. Once he's established, dunking becomes easy. Now here's Paul. He has six. In shot opportunity. And Aiton with the layup. Aiton's got 21 in the game. Not a lot of resistance on the inside. And they're taking full advantage. LeBron with it. Now guarded by Crowder. That one goes in. And it's eight points for Davis. What a pass from LeBron James. This guy just has a sixth sense for finding the open man. Now here's Paul. Bridget for three. He is called in by Los Angeles. Davis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. 
Davis setting the pick for Walker. Shoots over Crowder, and the shot is good. The Phoenix lead has been cut down to just two points in the bucket from Walker. Yeah, not a perfectly set screen there, but got him just enough room to get that shot off. And Booker kicks to Paul. Looking for Aiton, he gets it in there. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Aiton's got seven points here in this quarter. Court vision, intellect, basketball IQ, the masterful distributor that is Chris Paul. Here's Walker with the three. Boy, bodying up there, making sure to get position. That's really nice rebounding technique. A nice shot by Booker. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Now here's LeBron, 16 points for him. It's over Bridges, no good from LeBron. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. James against Paul. Looking to get back on track here, and he lays it up and in. Paul's got eight. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Westbrook dishes to LeBron. Shoots over Bridges. And with that shot, the Suns lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from James. Pass to Bridges. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Good on the three-point shot. He's got seven. Well, in catch-and-shoot opportunities, you've got to have good feet and pre-shot preparation. Mikael Bridges, yes, sir. Some changes here for the Lakers. Johnson, he's checked in for Bryant. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Lonnie Walker. Lakers trail by nine. Outside Westbrook. Lays it up, and in spite of the excellent defense at that, Westbrook's got seven now in this quarter. Booker against none. Eight in a screen on none. Booker. Ball outside, and there's the drive. And he uses the glass on the lane. Paul's got the lead up to nine now for the Suns. Uh, how about the ability to knife inside the defense? Chris Paul has been outstanding as a dribble driver his entire career. Nice shot by James. A signature bucket for him on that possession. They can get themselves in front quickly with a few more like that.
Some changes for Phoenix. Johnson, he's checked in for Bridges. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Devin Booker. And then for Los Angeles, Thomas Bryant comes in for Stanley Johnson. And Walker subbed in for Kendrick Nunn. And Phoenix has possession. Outside Crowder. The dish to Paul. Westbrook with the block. Wow, Russell Westbrook. When he's engaged defensively, he can send it back. Stolen away. Now it's John to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Westbrook against Paul. On the wing, Johnson. Over James. Phoenix, no good that time either. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by seven. Walker finds James. Over Paul. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Phoenix has gone two of five with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Johnson, good. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. And Cam Johnson, a surprise pick, Doris, when he was taken 11th back in 2019. Many wondered, I recall, what the Sun saw. Now, that's not the case. Well, that's exactly right, because most projections had him as a late first-round pick. The Suns' front office, give them credit. They saw the upside of Cameron Johnson, and boy, he is now viewed as one of the steals of that draft. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Suns. The mid-range that you've seen from them, about as good as it gets. And there has not been a drop-off in the second half. You know, another thing I've noticed is how many of their baskets are coming off assists. Great ball movement for them all day. And that one falls for Johnson. No good on the second free throw. Lakers trail by eight. Here's Walker. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Payne passes to Paul. Aiton is screen on Westbrook. Paul kicks to Johnson. Aiton, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Aiton's got the lead up to 10 now for the Suns. Well, we're talking about a big-time rebounder. DeAndre Aiton's timing excellent. To the inside. Here's Davis. That's good, and it's Bryant with the assist. Davis has got six here in this quarter. Oh, great production on the interior right now. Eight straight from inside. Aiton against Bryant. Paul for three. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. Ooh, finally hitting one from range. That's his first three of the night. Pass to Bryant. Two nice passing here by Los Angeles. From 12 feet out. Yep, it goes in, and the Suns lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Davis. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half.
Phoenix making some changes. Rambo, he's checked in for DeAndre. Torrey Craig comes in for Crowder, and it's Booker in for Paul. The Lakers also changing it up. Johnson, he's checked in for Thomas Bryant. The Wizard comes in for Russell Westbrook, and it's Kendrick Nunn in for Walker. Booker draws the double. Johnson against Johnson. Johnson, the pass to Biombo, and then Biombo with the dunk. Well, showing off that athleticism is Bismack Biombo. That's an easy one. There's the pass to Nunn. Off target from three-point range. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Over to the wing. Johnson outside. There's the triple. Tries again. And with that shot, the Suns lead is cut down now to just nine in the basket from Davis. Well, you're not going to stop that. Once Davis gets the ball that deep, game over. Payne, shot is good. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Wentz. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? Here's none. The Suns getting the bucket. Good work there as it goes. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Booker. Here's the drive. And the dunk by Booker. I'll tell you, let that guy get ahead of steam. Booker can finish at the rim with surprising power. Craig against James. Pass to Nunn. Five to shoot. That three off the mark. And so it's Phoenix. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Back to the action after this word. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You know a thing or two about a point guard's job. Set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Backward pass, Payne at the point with Booker beside him. Torrey Craig is out there with Cameron Johnson. And it's Biombo at the center, locking down the middle. Johnson's out there for Phoenix. And here's James outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. LeBron's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Lakers. Now here's Payne. James covering. Biombo, that's good. This guy is very solid close to the rim. Biombo knows when to be assertive on the interior. LeBron passes to Bryant. Bryant is doubled. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And stolen by Payne. Fast break, here come the Suns. Pull up Jay. No good from Booker. Lakers trail by 10. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. From deep, James. Rebound by the Suns. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Now, here's Craig. Booker at the elbow. Kicks to paint. It's up a three. 
LeBron grabs the miss. LeBron's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Knocked away and taken away by Johnson. Here's Craig. Oh, good on the triple. And none has got the ball here for the Lakers. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Now here's Booker. Johnson kicks to Booker. Suns moving the ball around. Pass to Payne. From deep, and the rejection by James. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. And the Suns making a change here. Bridges checks in. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Horton Tucker. Kept alive. And with that shot, the Suns lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Bryant. Boy, tremendous focus from the big man, Thomas Bryant, making the difficult finish look pretty routine. That's nice. We've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Mommy Williams talking with his team. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? All right, thank you, David. Now here's Johnson. And it's sent back by Bryant. Now here's James. Not a lot of room. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Back to Payne. That's good from Payne. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. Aiton, he's checked in for Biombo. So he gets them both. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's James. Connects on the 17-footer. LeBron's got five points now in the quarter. Boy, the defense is confident in that instance that they've got LeBron bottled up. But no, sir. Gets the jumper up and over the defense. Nice. And the shot is good from Johnson. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment that's his killer instinct just fanning the flame one thing i enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score you lock in on the moment and play the right way and here is los angeles now phoenix able to drain the three and with that shot the suns leaders get back down to eight points they needed that one from horton tucker eight and a screen on none Payne passes to Aiton over Bryant, and it's Aiton missing. Los Angeles has gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Passes a two, Toscano. 
and there's a whistle. That goes on Mikael Bridges. And that'll be his third foul so far. So for the Suns, Booker comes in for Torrey Gray. And Chris Paul sub in for Payne. The Lakers also with a sub. Russell Westbrook in for James. Now here's Westbrook. And Bryant kicks to Westbrook. In for his seventh make in 14 tries. You can see it. He's taking better shots and the results are coming because of it. None against Booker. Driving in, and it's in there. That's just superior balance from the crafty guard. If you allow Devin Booker to get close, he's going to draw your contact. Lakers trail by nine. Now Westbrook. Now the pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Toscano. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. That's not his spot, but given the lack of defense, you'd like to see him knock that one down. Here's Hayton. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Booker's got his fifth assist in this one. How about the power? from DeAndre Ayton on that finish right through the contact. Now, here's none. Pass to Horton Tucker. Bryant with a screen on Bridges. Lock at six. And finish off by Bryant. Well, just showing great agility in the pick and roll. Thomas Bryant just being decisive right now. The drive by Booker and the dunk by Booker. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. Headshot off. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Jake Crowder's checked in for the Suns. The Lakers also changing it up. Davis is checked in for Bryant. James comes in for Toscano Anderson. And Walker subbed in for Taylor Horton Tucker. He throw no good for Aiton. I think what you like most about DeAndre Ayton is probably how efficient he is on the offensive end. Now, obviously, the next step, he's got to raise his game and defensive intensity on that end of the floor. And here is Bridges after LeBron James hitting the three. Ayton a screen on Walker. Bridges attacking, and it's slammed in by Bridges. If you overplay Mikel Bridges to take the jump shot, that's creating driving lanes, and he'll take advantage. Up top, Walker. James outside. And the shot is good. The Phoenix lead has been cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Walker. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Here's James and another basket for the Lakers. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Paul dishes to Bridges. Drives to the hoop, and it's slammed in by Bridges. Well, you cannot let Mikhail Bridges get into the paint because he's going to hammer it home when you do. 
LeBron passes to Westbrook. Lakers working the ball around now. Now here is Davis. Fader on the way. Bridges with the board. Bridges has got six rebounds in the game. Crowder finds Paul. Ayton sets the pick for Paul. And the rejection by James. Out to the right wing. Three-pointer. Offensive rebound. And it's Davis with the jam. And this guy does it all. Davis is as complete an offensive player as we have in our league. Bridges for three. Another three for Phoenix. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. James kicks to Davis. And it's Walker, top of the key. Pass to Davis. Over Ayton. Kicks it out to James. Left side, Walker. But three. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. And he hits the first of three. Good on the second free throw. He makes all three. Suns leading by nine. Ball outside, and Aiton gets double team. Passes it to Paul. Back to Crowder. Shot clock at six. The Suns need to get a shot off. Aiton. And what was that about? Not a good shot right there. Lakers trail by nine. James gets to Walker. From outside, off the mark. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth out the way. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Here's LeBron. Davis with a screen on Ayton. The three-pointer no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Crowder dishes to Booker. The kick out to Crowder. Phoenix no good that time either. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. And with that, the Phoenix lead is cut down to six in the bucket from Walker. Westbrook on multiple occasions has averaged double-digit assists. You know he knows exactly when to deliver the pass. A nice shot by Booker. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. James, the pass to Westbrook. Holds it up for Davis. It's hauled in by the Suns. Bridges has got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Paul, and he makes good on the layup. And now a 10-point Suns lead. And for a smaller player, Chris Paul appears so comfortable on the interior. He knows he can score from this area. Now here's James. Shoots the three, and it's Aiton with the rebound. When you're not in rhythm with the free ball, why do you keep firing from there? And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out 
in what should be a nice win here for Phoenix. They really had it going, guys. Their offense propelled them. In this case, it was the higher shooting percentage that made the difference and earned them the W. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for DeAndre Ayton. Boy, his activity really stood out to me on the defensive end. He harassed ball handlers, came up with steals in transition. Yet the feeling guys were looking over their shoulder, worried he was going to pick their pocket. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, DeAndre Ayton. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be looking to stay in peak form as long as he can. Phoenix with the ball. After the basket by Los Angeles. Out left to the wing. Here's Aiton. Great tee that time from Davis. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save them tonight. I'll tell you, it's never an easy point in the game. Knowing whatever you do, you're still coming away with the L. And it's Paul with the ball for Phoenix. Bridges outside. Dishes it to Aiton. Paul outside. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. And he gets it to go. 33 points for DeAndre Ayton. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. But once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks for Chris Ball. The playoffs are dead ahead. What are the areas of emphasis as you get yourselves ready? Keep defending, playing at the right pace, and uh, trying to make this a tough place to play. We really need our crowd and this energy, and we really feed off of them. But uh, just trying to get ready game by game. You're putting some good wins together, Chris. Thanks for your time. Kevin? All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olin, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long.